What do you guys think? Do they look alike? Do you think they taste alike? Did B Love steal their recipe? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make Bee Love Special Smack Delicious Sauce. And I'm gonna be showing you how to make the Boiling Crabs, the whole shebang sauce. So I have both of them here, and I'm gonna be showing you step by step how to make both recipes. So make sure you stick around to the end so you can know how to make both of these great sauces. All right guys, so to compare these two, I'm starting with the Bee Love Sauce. I have it, her ingredients right here in my phone. So I'm going to follow the directions exactly how she did it. And to start off, I'm going to do the seasonings um, in this container here first. And then when I make the butter sauce, I can pour in as much as I like, like she said. So um, here we go. So I have this Cajun spice. I'm going to start with one tablespoon of everything that I have here. Then she also uses some um, garlic powder. <coughs> oh, that's spice. <coughs> Ooh, it's going down my throat. So I have some garlic powder here. So like I said, I'm gonna use a tablespoon of everything. Just to, um, unless something in here doesn't call for it. Or she says optional for something. So I'm going exactly how she did it. So this is onion powder. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. Then she has cayenne. So I got some Zatarain's cayenne pepper here. So I'm gonna use not a whole teaspoon. I'm probably gonna use, I mean, not a tablespoon. Probably more like a, that's a lot. Cause I don't want it really spicy. So this is pour, probably more like a teaspoon. All right, so we'll put that in there. Then we're gonna go ahead and start with this onion powder. Got some onion powder right here. I love me some onion powder and garlic powder on everything, almost everything, y'all. So, then she has oregano, but I don't have oregano. I use it all, making the sauce a whole bunch of times. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Italian seasoning. And I think I'm going to Use a little under a tablespoon. I'm trying to clean up. I'm going to have to use it. some of these spices are going to go into the shebang sauce, so I'm going to leave them out. Not everything. It's not as many ingredients as this, but I definitely cannot wait to see if they taste alike because everyone is saying they taste alike, and I don't know about that. So for lemon powder, lemon pepper, excuse me, she said she has one teaspoon. So I'm gonna do one teaspoon for this one because I think that has salt in it and I think the Old Bay has salt in it. So of course I don't want it salty. Um, and she has chili powder, so I have some here. One teaspoon, that's about one teaspoon. It's coming together y'all, coming together. Crushed red peppers. I'm gonna do like a half a teaspoon. I mean, half a tablespoon. You see that? This is all you have to do, guys. That way, if you have it in a container like this, you can just pour as much as you want in. And sometimes I even just leave the seasoning in here like that. So the old bait, I'm gonna go ahead and do. So I'm spilling in there. This has salt in it. So I'm going to do a little under a tablespoon for that. Some vinegar, one tablespoon, one teaspoon of vinegar. But I'm going to add this in the liquids. I'm going to add into the sauce as I make it because I, those look, I want to keep this dry. So I'm going to go ahead and skip those wet ingredients. Um, we've got some brown sugar right here. So I'm going to do that. I'm do this over here. So she said to do, I'm gonna do one tablespoon of sugar, brown sugar. I think we have all, we didn't use paprika. How did I miss that? 
tablespoon of paprika. I think I did do this, didn't I? I went in order. Yeah, so I had to do it already. So I don't think I did that. Alright, paprika, black pepper. half under a teaspoon tablespoon excuse me and then she has minced ginger but I'm not going to use mince. I'm going to put a little bit of this um, ground ginger I have so I have this ground ginger I'm going to use because I don't have any uh, minced ginger so I put just like a few dabs of that in there because that's really strong like she said so um, we're done with this part so we're done with this I'm going to mix my onion up so I got my little thing here. So this part of onion I'm going to put in the sauce while it cooks. This onion I'm going to mince up into this um, grinder right here. I'm going to chop it up a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here. Okay, put our lid on. Okay guys, so I have split this recipe in half. So I'm gonna do two. I'm going to do two sticks of butter for the sauce. For this sauce and two sticks of butter for the shebang sauce. So I'm gonna split them both in half. I never had the shebang sauce before. So I don't want to make a whole bunch of it. The B Love sauce, I really could because I eat it all the time. But. Okay. Let's make sure all the paint is off of there. Okay, so we're going to melt this. I'm going to actually break these in half so they can melt faster. Okay. Alright, guys, since our butter is already starting to sizzle up, I'm going to go ahead and add in my. Um, onion. This is the onion that I had chopped because I like the uh, longer pieces in there. This is what I have is the, for my minced garlic because I didn't have any cloves. So this is what I'm going to use. But since she used about four cloves, bulbs, I'm sorry, I'm going to use eight teaspoons. Now I'm using four. I'm using four teaspoons because um, um, she, I'm doing half of the recipe, so four teaspoons will equal her four bulbs that she used. So I'm like using two bulbs, so two bulbs will be um, two teaspoons, four teaspoons, excuse me, of minced garlic. All right, so I'm just gonna, I got this over a medium heat. Right, so I'm just gonna mix that all up in there. So now I'm gonna add in my wet ingredients. So I'm gonna put those right here on my stove. And if you guys can see that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in the wet things. So I think they were teaspoons, let me go back. So for one bulb, you need two teaspoons of minced garlic. All right, so the first wet ingredient she had was the vinegar, and she used a teaspoon. I think, so I'm going to use one teaspoon of vinegar. All right. And then she also used one teaspoon of Tabasco, which I think I always use more, so I'm going to go with one teaspoon. So one teaspoon of Tabasco. And then the Worcestershire size, she used one teaspoon as well. That in here. I'm following it exactly from B-Love. So I'll leave the link to B-Love's recipe in the description box so you guys can have it. 
I'm just recreating this so I can make do a test, a taste test against the shebang sauce. Okay, then now I'm going to add in my onions that I did. Add these onions in there that I mixed up in the mixer. I like my sauce thicker, and that's usually where my thickness comes from is from the onions. All right, guys, so now I'm going to add in the last and final thing here, which is going to be the seasoning. So I'm going to taste this as I go along, but I'm going to do a tablespoon at a time. This is all those dry seasonings. So that's one tablespoon. So I mix it up. That onion was about a half of onion. Then I forgot to add, I always um, add in two um, bouillon cubes, chicken bouillon cubes. I guess I'm add some more seasoning. This is another tablespoon. And I'm going to add a little bit more um, paprika in here. I don't think I added it. I usually add a lot of that in there. I'm going to taste it and see how I like it. Definitely needs a little bit more brown sugar. So I would definitely go for like a tablespoon or two. That's my preference. I like it. Nice balance. And she used accent too. And I, I didn't use accent. And usually I don't have to. It tastes pretty good without it. I'm going to use some more Tabasco sauce too. And usually when I make it, I don't add the vinegar in. So I think that's where it's coming in that I need more uh, sugar and some of the other things I use because that vinegar is making it a little bit more tangy. There we go. So the sugar helped a whole bunch. Okay. Adding in some more flavors. More seasonings. So that's three tablespoons now that I've added in. I'm about to add in my chicken broth. I mean my bouillon cubes. Mm, that's good, y'all. Alright guys, so I'm adding in a fourth cup of water. And that's basically it. I'm just going to let those onions simmer down. I want them to be a little bit more um, soft. We're gonna move on to the shebang sauce. So y'all see the thickness of that, all those onions. This is how I do it, y'all. I just like them onions to cook down a little bit more. To... All right, so we're moving on to the shebang sauce. Now this sauce has less ingredients than B-Love sauce. So I'm going to start with the dry ingredients and I'll do the butter and the wet ingredients last. The bouillon crab recipes, it calls for four sticks of butter. So I have um, two, I'm gonna split this in half like I did B-Loves. So the, also the dry ingredients asks for you to have two tablespoons of each of the five ingredients. I'm gonna only use um, one tablespoon. So Old Bay here and then also the cayenne pepper. So it's a lot less ingredients to be love sauce. Paprika, and I think I said lemon seasoning already, I'm not sure, but lemon seasoning. And then um, we're gonna use some Cajun seasoning as well. And minced garlic. So we're gonna use minced garlic, even though she had, um, the girl actually used cloves, she minced them herself. And then, oh, bulbs, I'm sorry. And then um, eggs for brown sugar in this one as well. And then hot sauce. Hot sauce. I'm gonna use Frank's instead of Tabasco because that's what she used. All right, so let's get started measuring out the ingredients. 
So I'm going to start with my Cajun seasoning. I'm going to do one tablespoon because I'm only using two sticks of butter for this recipe. So I'm basically spit, splitting the recipe in half. So I got one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning, one tablespoon of paprika, pour that right in there, one tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning, Can't wait to taste this, guys. Tablespoons of cayenne pepper. It seems really, like it's gonna be really, really spicy. And then the Old Bay, one tablespoon. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and melt two sticks of butter. She used four, and she is saying that this sauce tastes exactly like the boiling crab. It is exactly what it is, so I cannot wait because I've never been to the boiling crab before. And I want to see what everyone's talking about, like, as far as trying to claim that we love soul the sauce, that it tastes like it, you know, and things like that. So I want to see for myself. So we're going to let that melt down. All right, guys, so her recipe calls for a whole tablespoon. So that means I have to split it in half. So I'm going to use Frank Red Hot half a tablespoon that's probably about a half right there and then the seasoned garlic I'm sorry okay she used five garlic bulbs so I'm going to or well, five bulbs of garlic she used so I'm going to use two since I have minced garlic here I'm sorry four and a half teaspoons garlic Let's stir all this up here so this is pretty basic so all the flavors, compared to all the flavors that are in the beloved sauce so I'm just melting this butter down it seems like it's taking forever so since her seasonings are measured out perfectly, I'm going to add them exactly, all of it in there. I'm going to add all of that in there because this is supposed to be exactly the amount you need. So I'm going to let this simmer for 10 minutes like she said. And I'll be back guys so I can show you how it looks after that. Alright guys, so this is all done. I let this simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes. So uh, this is what it looks like. It looks like the seasonings are well combined now. So that's it. So we completed both sauces. I'm excited to try them. So I think that I like 